Yes, let's go, Douglas Costa. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a lot of stuff to do today. We're going to get started today with the new flashback Douglas Costa. We're taking a look at a card that is 5'8", high medium work rates, left footed, 5 star skill moves, which obviously is a massive deal in the game nowadays, uh, but unfortunately does have the 3 star weak foot. So it would have been very nice if EA actually gave him uh, the 4 star weak foot, but it is what it is. I'm actually concerned about this specifically because if they do not give... If they, if they were to do this next week, a flashback Quidditch with five-star skills, we're going to have problems, okay? But for this card, we have the injury-prone traits, the flare traits, so no outside foot shot uh, trait and no finesse shot trait. In games, he's at 97, 96 for pace, which is good. You don't have to improve that, which is awesome. Uh, shooting, he's at 90 for attacking positioning to work with the high medium work rates. Uh, so we're going to see how that's going to perform in game. Uh, base card stats for shooting is very important that he has uh, the 94 for shot power, but does have 84 for composure, working with 87 for finishing, 93 for long shots. We are going to be giving him the marksman chemistry style because you want him to feel as responsive as possible, improving the shooting as much as possible while giving him some dribbling stats while also working with a unique body type is going to be a very important thing to take a look at in game base card stats for passing very good for this card you don't have to improve that either uh, for an attacking player that i see being used in any of the attacking players the weak foot thing the skill move thing ea not improving that that bothers me but i i appreciate that they actually make them uh good stamina players right so they make them at a 90 90 is good to use in pretty much any of the attacking positions he's not linear to just playing in the middle or whatever it is right so that's pretty cool um for this card um so i am curious to see how douglas cost is going to play in game because he was uh, one of the very nice cards to use in the beginning of the game. The only problem that he had, because he had both versions of the Bayern card, as well as the Juve card, was his finishing. Everything else was really nice in the card. You know, with him uh, on a finisher chemistry style, you notice the reactions a little bit. It was just the finishing that was really, really low on this card. And you did 100% notice it. So hopefully that's not a base characteristic that kind of transfers over uh, to this version of the card. Because with this card, we are improving a lot of very, very key areas of it. So... In game, guys, uh, we are going to be using the team a little bit differently. Cruz will be the review after this one. So for now, I'll put in Witzel. Uh, so we can have Witzel with. Uh, he wants Muller in the team to get the assist just in case. Okay, so we're going to be using the 4 2 3 1. I think it's a good formation to kind of test him out in. We're going to have Royce playing um, in the cam position. We're going to change Huang over here, Gnabry to the side here, and we're going to try out Douglas Costa up top in the striker position. We're also going to be using him in a 4-1-2-1-2 that we don't have set up normally for this formation. I do like to use this formation for the sake of the reviews. So the Douglas Costa, we're going to switch here with Royce, switch him off to the right side here with Huang, um, and then the tactics will be balance on seven... For the sake of the review, we have different tactics, right? So we'll put long ball to eight with five for width to test out attacking AI. And then for this, we just have the fullback on stay back while attacking, cover center, and cut passing lane. So we'll try him out on both the formations. We'll see how he plays. Um, hopefully he is a beast. This guy actually has a pretty cool team. Like, I respect it. I do respect it a lot. It's really nice. Got Deco with Ronaldo in there. Like, he has, like, some meta players here and there, but he's got a lot of cool cards there, for sure. Oh, he actually almost hits that finesse shot. No way. You know what? I am not surprised by that because the center of gravity is low because of the body type and stuff. So, I'm not surprised by that at all. Yeah, so what I do there... Oh, don't get the shot off there. Way too much power. But a good strike. Uh, I do. What I do there is a shot cancel so I can dribble into the position quickly, right? Um, so far, so good with the car. He's pretty, he's pretty decent. There we go. Got a nice little shot off right there. Thomas Muller making the run. We scored that opportunity. Nice. It's good that he actually adjusts upwards. It's a shame that the pass didn't really go into that empty space there, but I do like the adjustment there. Oh... Try to do a nice little double skill move combo there. Get him on his finesse shot. Eh, doesn't come off crazy, but it is coming off of those two skill moves, so sometimes they'll be more emphasized after that.
Yeah, so over there, I just wanted to test out his left stick dribbling, like coming back, going forward. Uh, it does come off nicely. I do think that his unique body type is pretty cool so far. It's not bad at all. Oh, I almost got that opportunity there. It wasn't too bad at all, man. His, uh... His dribbling is pretty cool, man. The five-star skills are, uh, they're coming off nicely. So I am using him through the middle right now, but I am noticing that he's a card that I would mostly like to use on the sides, right? So if I was using Douglas Costa in an actual team, uh, it would definitely be in the ram position, a right mid position. Uh, it's definitely where I feel like he belongs the most. Uh, in the middle position, you can kind of tell how Royce is attacking AI. It's just absolutely brilliant. It's beautiful to use him in any of the positions. Douglas Costa is a type of guy that does strictly feel like he belongs on the sides, but can play in the middle. It's one of those situations right now. The thing about Royce is that I still notice that same attack. Like, it, it's so noticeable, especially right in the beginning of the game. And it just, the way that the car just moves constantly is disgusting. Find out some ridiculous finesse shots from insane angles. A little bit of an angled run right there. A little shield. Touch. Beautiful strike. So that's what you want to test out, right? You want to test out the left stick dribbling, like going backwards forwards to see how responsive he'll be in those situations. Now, obviously, because he has the five-star skills, being able to utilize that to get that scoop turn off is a pretty big deal. So he just stopped playing, but um, regardless, I'm able to test out his, uh, his skill moves. His, uh, his finishing definitely comes off really nicely. It's not bad at all. Like, the one the one that I hit the crossbar off of was, uh, was, um, was just too much power, you know? For this next game, I actually kind of want to try him out in the, um, the cam position. Uh, so Royce will be up top, and then we'll have Douglas playing through the middle. In this team like this, I would honestly have, like, Huang up top, Royce in the middle, Douglas Costa off to the right side. So I might actually switch that at some point. Um, again, it's a card that can play in the middle well, but feels like he mostly belongs on the sides for sure. Okay, this guy is... Oh, wow, man. <sighs> can we get a rip in the chat for that one, boys? <laughs> he has a wow, man, just chilling. That sucks, man. Yeah, his finesse shots are not like you could definitely tell that he doesn't have the traits for it, of course, right? But he actually hate like hits them really well. Again, it's because he's kind of like a short dude, so it's not bad. See, when they switch to that center back in that situation, you want to force the one-two play. Like those areas, it's really good to do it. Oh. Yeah, those areas it's really good to do it because they kind of put them out of position a little bit, you know? Good. I like that he adjusts to my runs right there. That was pretty solid. Oh no, there's gotta be a command in this game. There has to be a command in this game for you to turn, like to bend your body to go for the finesse on his strong foot there. I hate that man, come on. Yes! Let's go, Douglas Costa. Love it, love it. You see how he plays in the cam position? How he adjusts his run? Like, he's making that initial run, but then he changes the trajectory. I need players to understand that space. Uh, but like I said, guys, like, I'm using him in the middle. Cam position, he's definitely going to feel nice. Striker, maybe next to somebody else, he'll feel okay. Uh, but again, it does feel like a card that I would mostly use in the side positions. Like, that ram position definitely sounds pretty, uh, pretty nice right about now. Oh, that uh, could have been a penalty. I used his stamina a lot right there because he had the ball for the entire time. He definitely feels like he has a little bit of a sway to his dribbling so far. Like, that's why I said in the beginning that his dribbling is not bad, that it wasn't, like, cracked. Like, I do think that uh, Coutinho's left stick dribbling, for instance, is definitely more 
responsive for sure. Oh, I almost had that right there. I could have done a fake shot right after that skill move. I think it would have been good. That skill move came off really smoothly. Like, I timed that so nicely. Okay, guys. So what we're going to do for uh, this half now is I'm going to use him in the actual side position. So um, what we're going to do here is we have a... 442 fast build up where we'll play him over here in the right side. Royce Thomas Muller with this over here. Can have with that. And then we're gonna have him in a 4231. This is the one I want to use mostly to be honest. Royce here, Huang up top, Douglas Costa off to the right side. Cool. This way it's good because the balance of the team is a little bit better so we can actually like try hard and play normal FIFA and see what's up with the card. It's a good adjustment though, man. I like that uh, when I was there with the fullback, he started to cut inside by default there. That's why I, I, I'm going to like him mostly in those positions, I think. Nice goal right there. We'll take that. Good stuff. Good stuff. Work that near post angle. Okay, guys. So final verdict on Douglas Costa's card. So we ended up giving him the marksman chemistry style to try to improve his dribbling, shooting, uh, and his physicality as much as possible while working with good pace and good passing stats. So let's talk about how this card performs in game. Uh, in regards to his left stick dribbling, I will say that it feels a little bit weird. I won't say that it feels similar to Coutinho's because I do like Coutinho's left stick dribbling a lot. And it kind of makes sense for Coutinho because if you take a look at the card, right? Um, with his base dribbling stats all being in the 90s with ball control on 98, 98 dribbling with a lean body type, Coutinho's left stick dribbling just feels more responsive for me personally, so it's really nice to work with the five-star skill moves. Douglas Costa's unique body type, it kind of feels uh, a little bit stockish in game, which is why it feels a little bit strange. I'm not saying it's bad in any way, because it's still pretty decent, because you're working with the five-star skill moves on this card as well, right? So it is something that you will notice. Maybe it's because the reaction's at an 84 or something, uh, but regardless, the marksman chemistry style improving it as much as possible is going to be the most ideal situation anyways. But but in regards to left stick dribbling, I wouldn't expect him to feel similar to Coutinho. Um, I also kind of like Coutinho's attacking AI more in that cam position and in most of the attacking positions. With Douglas Costa, it's a little bit different, right? With his high mediums, uh, he definitely utilizes space well. You could see that he makes those angled runs uh, in certain positions. Like if he's making that one run, he'll switch to the other run, which is definitely very nice. Um, but Playing through the middle, the card is usable. You could definitely use him in those positions. But for me, it's a card that I would mostly use in the side positions. If I was going to use him as like a, a ram in my team, I would actually have the free roam instruction on him for that 4-2-3-1 because uh, he still plays that ram position well. But the lamb and ram, when you have free roam on them, the movement is just absolutely insane uh, for certain types of players like Douglas Costa. I used to do that uh, for his rare gold card when I first started the game in the left uh, left attacking mid position and it worked out really nicely for him again the only thing that was the biggest problem was the skill move it's actually preferable to have the strong foot on the strong side nowadays for the shots across goal or for you to work that near pulse angle and even just shoot it with his uh three star weak foot with the shooting stats that he has right so um i do think it's a decent card i will say that i liked the coutinho card more personally i thought coutinho was absolutely unbelievable the only thing that Coutinho lacked was uh the height and physical presence you know when a defender put pressure on him he was kind of off a little bit Douglas Costa in some situations offers you a little bit of that physical presence which is definitely very helpful but for me I prefer to have that really good left stick dribbling control which Coutinho definitely had so uh with Douglas Costa I still think it's a really cool card for what you unlock. Obviously, the five-star skills is a meta of this game. It's basically the new dribbling. So regardless of me not being fully on on uh, on cue with his dribbling with the left stick, it's fine because five-star skills is the way to go nowadays anyways, right? So I still think the card is really cool. I think you guys can definitely enjoy him. 
I do think that Coutinho was a card that I enjoyed definitely more. The attacking AI I enjoyed more, and the dribbling I definitely enjoyed more, with the skill moves coming off as well. I think the skill moves for Coutinho was really, really fast. With Douglas Costa, there were some situations where it was a little bit off, but then there were some situations where he did it really quickly. So uh, it's one of those cards for sure. One more thing, the three-star... Uh, a three-star weak foot is a letdown. In this game, it's always, always nice to have the weak foot for key areas of the pitch. And the fact that he has a three-star is a little bit off-putting. But again, guys, biggest variable here, pace, stamina, skill moves can do everything pretty well. But the dribbling just feels a little bit off. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.